You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Since August 8th, there have been numerous accidents near the construction site on North Mayo Trail. In an effort to decrease the number of these accidents, Pikeville Police Department is offering drivers some advice on how to navigate during the congested traffic. We have had some injury collisions. We've had a lot of non-injury collisions too. And it's either a, a rear end collision, the most common one within traffic. But we have had some T-bone collisions of cars coming out from residential neighborhoods along US 23 into the traffic that's already backed up. And uh, we've had some collisions that's happened once people get out of this construction site and you know they've got an open road so to speak in front of them so they pick up a little speed and we've had a couple single vehicle accidents beyond the construction zone because of that so here's what i tell everybody everybody is complaining about the construction well the construction has started and it's not going to stop and they have a job to do and they're doing something that needs to be done and a lot of people are upset because it's right when school has started back um, you know, this uh, Pikeville Independent started back last week, Pike County starts back this week, and you've got Pikeville and Mullins and Pike Central right, right there where that construction's going on. But what people need to do, just like when it rains outside, you need to slow your speed down, you need to give yourself more distance between vehicles, and you might as well not get in a hurry. You know, even on my way down here just now, um, obviously there's, it's a one lane, one lane through traffic, and there was several cars coming up from the left, you know, trying to get to the front of the line and squeeze in. Hey, if you're one of those cars, somebody will let you in eventually, but don't expect people to let you in. That causes accidents too. Although accidents are expected at a major intersection such as the one on Cassidy Boulevard, there are a few ways around it. Officer Branham mentions the possible detours drivers can take to bypass the intersection, such as cutting through Town Mountain Road. Yeah, anytime there's a construction zone, you, ex you do expect accidents. You hope that you have a, a minimal amount of them, but in, a, in an area like this at Cassidy Boulevard, we were definitely expecting a lot of accidents. So there's always officers close by to help, you know, clear the roadway, offer medical assistance, and of course do the collision report. People coming over here to Cassidy Boulevard, they, there are detours that they can take. They could go Town Mountain to 119, and shoot straight from 119 over onto Cassidy Boulevard. Then they can come back off of Cassidy Boulevard on the 119 and go towards, you know, Belfry or back into town, back towards 460 that way. If they really want to avoid this traffic coming northbound, then uh, there's ways to avoid it. And, you know, you could come 119, or if you're coming south, they can just turn across the Helen Brown Bridge over there and um, they could avoid all that because even though the the bulk of the construction is right here south of us where we're at you're still going to have a lot of traffic backed up on that side because the traffic is moving so slow especially southbound for mountaintop news i'm nick column